don't have any eyebrows. They took them all off when I was a dancer. Deprive me of my eyebrows. I do love the African dance. It expresses something that I don't have any chance to express. The drums are speaking and you are speaking back to the drums. It's the rhythm of basic life and I love it. It's not as easy to dance. You can't do all the moves, but you can do a lot of them. We need not to give in to the ideas of other people about our aging. That's our biggest drive, and I use dance for that. I didn't give you the last one, says Guamai, which is the cacique, the last one, the last chorus, this chorus. Oh, she says, says, I have to be 90. I have so many things that I've done and so many different paths that I have taken to be able to survive, let's put it that way. I have no disability reinventing myself. That's the idea. It's you in a different position, in a different place. A little bit too fast, so the next time you, you're going to say it, you know. I was born in 1916, and the high seas, so to speak, between Vieques and Puerto Rico. You're creating yourself over again by saying, oh, I used to be a poet. I used to be a dancer. I used to be a, an actress. I'll always be a mother. exercises before they do. Acting keeps you alive and theater and creativity because you're living the moment and the idea is to be able to use yourself as best as you can. Am I crazy? People put time in a clock. That was their putting time in a clock. They really don't know what time is like. You know, they just fixed it. And I think people fixed age Love is such a rare thing. I feel that I'm as old as I feel at the moment. From God, even if it's forbidden. Bob has all these great wrinkles in his face, and they're character lines in a man and in a woman. They're just wrinkles. <laughs> kind of unfair. I didn't start paying anything seriously until I was 51 years old. And I always felt guilty about not using my talent. I said, God's going to really be mad at me if I, if I die. And he said, look, I gave you this talent, and you bum, you never did anything with it. So I'm catching up now. I'm paying back. <laughs> That's why I paint lots of priests and cardinals and uh, do a lot of charity, pro bono painting. But I'm the most enriched by it. I have more fun when I'm painting than anything else I can think of. It's more fun than going to a Mets game or playing golf even. Great shot. You couldn't have done it better. Golf is a, a wonderful sport for teaching life values, uh, and keeping it in the now, playing this hole. You just made a triple bogey on the last hole and you're kicking tires, right? You're really upset with yourself. You've got to somehow put that behind you and face what you're playing right now, this hole, this shot. Good putt. Thank you. I was busy in my professional life, but I'm busier now in, in many areas, not just painting. Uh, I've, been involved with the Metropolitan Golf Association, the Caddy Scholarship Fund, and coaching at Fordham. And uh, Graymore, uh, homeless men are uh, up my alley. 
I'll bring the card up, guys. I guess I was conditioned to being of service. And if somebody thinks I have something to contribute, well, maybe I do. Uh, I, it wasn't clear to me, but it became clear. I hope to paint for the rest of my life, uh, however long that is, as long as my eyes hold out. I don't know what the most creative thing I've done is, but I do know what the, the, the most creative thing that happened to me is, and that is getting sober and getting to know my family and being a father and a husband and a, a solid citizen. And uh, I can't take a lot of credit for that. I had a lot of help along the way. And, uh, and that's and and recreating me was a major project. <laughs> wasn't easy <laughs> for whoever had a role on it. They had their hands full. <laughs> but I I love being there now. I'm amazed, you know, she's sixty-five. God. When you get older, an interesting time appears, which the French call the coup de vieux, the strike of age. I can bend over, but I can't kneel. I can't kneel. And you have to kneel. Suddenly, every little individual part of you doesn't want to do its thing. So simultaneously, you have eye problems, you have teeth problems, you have balance problems. Different parts of your being seem to want to fly off and <laughs> neglect you, leave you alone. But truly, it is a very difficult period. And uh, being positive at our age requires a lot of work. I'm going to get my right knee replaced. It's a difficult operation for me at 84 because uh, there are possibilities of infection. I am nervous about it. I think everybody is when they go into surgery. It should be very interesting to see how they can replace your knee and you can still function. One out of eight. I'm in a tidal wave. I am in a tidal wave, which is the aged who are not really aged, who are really still quite capable. And we must, we have a big responsibility. And we have to swim the surf. We have to ride it, definitely, and be part of society. Pulling this out of the earth, it just felt fabulous. I'm addicted. I'm going to do it again. <laughs>